Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the things that I have and that has saved my life. So the first and foremost thing is the dishwasher. Yes, uh, I recently, not recently, it has been uh, more than a year that I bought a dishwasher and I always wonder why I didn't buy this before. <laughs> I came to Mexico around nine years back and uh, when I came here, uh, we didn't have a dishwasher. Uh, I was in Mexico City and there was no dishwasher. And uh, I thought it was very normal because I didn't see dishwashers in the um, stores and I thought it was not very common. Uh, also, back in India, we always have a help uh, or a maid who comes home and uh, cleans our dishes once or twice a day. But here, uh, to hire a maid or a help for one day is pretty expensive. I mean, she comes once in a week and that doesn't serve the purpose because we have dishes every day. And uh, that's when I bought this dishwasher and it has saved my life. Here, unfortunately, most of the houses don't even have the connections for the dishwasher. That's why I had to keep dishwasher away from my sink. But I did pay extra to the plumber and got the connection done. And finally, I have my dishwasher and I use it regularly. I know people who don't use it, they say that it's, it doesn't clean properly or it's not as clean as we clean with our hands. But I think it does a pretty good job. Uh, maybe some uh, times the uh, whistles are not that clean, but that's because you don't scrub it before putting it in the dishwasher. And I'm very happy with this. It has different options like a quick wash or just to spray water or, you know, a wash that takes around three hours. I usually take the three hours option and it cleans well. The next one is my iLife robot. Uh, it's a vacuum cleaner which uh, cleans and mops. Uh, before buying this, I had uh, also bought iRobot, uh, but I returned it within two weeks because I didn't find it that effective. It was uh, pretty expensive. It was expensive than more expensive than iLife, but I felt that it wasn't doing the job 100%. Uh, but this iLife, I would recommend to the people only if you have a pet at home, uh, shedding a dog at home. Mine is a husky and he sheds a lot. So I, ha I always had to clean my house once or twice or thrice sometimes. So iLife has definitely saved my life. Uh, it is very effective in cleaning the um, uh, dog's hair or our hair, but it's not very effective. Uh, it's not effective in picking up trash like small paper bits or things like that. So I would not really recommend if you don't have a dog at home, but if you have a shedding dog at home, then you should get this one. It comes with a charging point and a remote. Uh, it usually stays on the charging point and then when you switch it on with the remote, it starts working. It also cleans the carpet, but only if the carpet is thin. If you have a thick carpet, uh, which you usually have in your bedrooms, it doesn't clean that. It gets stuck. The remote also has directions. For example, if you want the uh, robot to move forward, it moves forward. And if you click home, it goes back to home. So once you finish cleaning, you can just click the home and it goes back and gets uh, charged again. We can also operate it without the remote, that's not a problem, but remote is useful when you want it to move to a particular direction because uh, there is a problem with this as any other machine, it has its pros and cons. Uh, for example, it randomly keeps moving, it doesn't go to the direction that you want, so that is when the remote comes handy. It's really very effective to pick up Rocky's hair or uh, human hair. There is also a mopping option for this but I really don't try, like that that much because I feel mopping by hand is faster. The best thing about this is it goes under the bed and cleans Rocky's hair. For the mopping option you have to fill the container that they have given. Uh, with water you can also add a cleaning liquid into it and then we have to put this mopping cloth at the back there is a special stand for it and you just fix it at the back 
and then we remove uh, the duster uh, kit which is there inside and then put the uh, water container inside it and that's it you switch it on and it starts mopping but as I had mentioned earlier, uh, the uh, movement of this uh, robot is random. It just uh, randomly keeps moving. It doesn't have a specific direction. So sometimes we feel mopping by hand is easier than The this. next product is my induction stove. Uh, it's really useful for me because I have two teenage girls and they love to cook sometimes. Yes, sometimes, not always. Uh, but when they cook, um, I always have this fear that they would burn their hands or they will forget to switch off the stove. So I always let them to cook on the this induction stove because it's uh, it doesn't get heated up that fast and there is no chance of getting your hands burned. Neither uh, can you forget to switch it off because the moment you take out the pan from uh, the stove top, the induction stove, it switches off automatically. So um, for me, it's personally very useful uh, because when kids want to cook, they can cook it without any fear. Uh, also, you can cook it anywhere. For example, when we go to picnic, we always uh, want to have a cup of tea. Uh, you know, our Indian chai is very important to us. So we can just take this along with us. And if you find a plug point, and we usually find plug points here, and uh, we can just keep it and make our own tea and drink it wherever we are. So that's my induction stove that I have uh, and I bought this from Costco. The next thing is my chopper. Uh, this is a chopper that I got like two years or three years back and it's very effective mainly because I like to chop my onions very small and this helps me with that. Uh, for chicken curry or for any other curry, uh, my family doesn't like to see onions in it. So I use this chopper and it uh, slices it into a very thin small pieces. So it's very effective. Apart from that, I also chop carrots, beetroot or broccoli sometimes on this. The next one is this electric griller. I bought this from Costco and I just love this product mainly because uh, I like to grill uh, chicken or I like to grill vegetables sometimes and for that I don't have to take out the whole barbecue and uh, you know fire it up but this is so easy to use that you just have to pour little water in the tray that they have given and then plug the electric grill and start uh, grilling whatever you want. And the best thing is there is less smoke and it cooks pretty fast too. And it's very easy to clean. You just unplug it and then uh, clean it uh, just like any other uh, utensil. I usually grill chicken or a paneer or any vegetables that I need for my salad. The next one are my iron skillet and iron pan. Initially, I had this fear that, uh, you know, the iron pans are very heavy and it's difficult to use or it's high maintenance and things like that. But after I bought them, I realized that it's, of course, it's a bit heavier than the other uh, utensils, but uh, the food that you make in this is definitely tastier than the other ones. And also it's easy to maintain. Uh, it's not that difficult. Most of us don't buy iron utensils thinking that it is uh, difficult to maintain it. But I think it's uh, not that uh, high maintenance. You just have to clean it uh, just like any normal uh, utensil. And then you can either wipe it dry or you can uh, dry it by switching on the stove. Once the pan is dry, you have to season the pan with some oil. And that's it. It is as good as a non-stick pan. The food doesn't get stuck and it's really good to use and food made in iron utensils are healthy too. The next useful thing that I have is this kettle. Uh, I use this all, almost all the days. 
I prefer to drink hot water in the morning and this is really useful to me because I think uh, the water gets heated really fast in this. Also during covid season and during winters we usually boil the water with all the uh, spices in it. I especially put uh, the cinnamon stick or cumin seeds inside and this uh, steel thing serves like a strainer and it doesn't get mixed into the water. So that's the one another good thing about this. So you just have to put the spices in the strainer and uh, switch it on and it boils within 5 to 10 minutes and once it is boiled it automatically switches off and the water is ready the next one is my air fryer i have already spoken about this in my previous videos but i just thought i will include uh, it here also and um, i like my air fryer mainly because it's very easy to use uh, especially to make cakes and to make french fries my family loves french fries and I used to hate making french fries on stout top mainly because uh, the oil splashes everywhere and it's you know a lot of tasks to clean it up and things like that but with the air fryer within 10-15 minutes I can make french fries and the last but not the least uh, are these silicon caps these silicon lids are stretchable and hence we can use it on different sizes of utensils. We all have these kinds of utensils which does not have cover and which has odd shapes and hence we can use these silicon lids to cover up food and to keep in the refrigerator. You can see that all these ceramic balls don't have a lid so I use these silicon lids to cover the food up and keep in the refrigerator. And uh, this is my left out condensed milk which I had used uh, yesterday and now I cover it up with this lid and keep it in the refrigerator until I make another sweet. So I hope you like this video of mine. Uh, I just thought I will share a few things uh, which I have and which has been really useful for me. Uh, I'm sure most of you must be having many of these things and in case you don't have any of them, probably my review would help you to buy them. So do let me know if you have any questions regarding this and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.